Hello, dear friends. Of course, you've heard about the super speed of the Yumi blockchain. And in this video, I will tell you why this is the case. We will also take a closer look at the reliability of Yumi and we'll learn how the network supports decentralization at a time when the internet is effectively controlled by governments at the local level. If you have not yet subscribed to this channel, you have the opportunity to do it right now. Yumi isn't called the fastest blockchain in the world for nothing. It has been calculated and proven in practice. The main network is capable of processing 65,535 transactions per second. To successfully demonstrate the throughput, the Yumi team has sent two transactions of 0.02 Yumi to all the existing addresses with a non-zero balance, symbolically in honor of the release of the second version of the node. In total, there were 371,329 addresses and 742,658 transactions. Thanks to this, 10 completely filled blocks of 65,535 transactions were formed. All transfers were processed by the Yumi network in 10 seconds. That is, each block was processed in one second. Links confirming my words are in the description. Fast communication channels allow you to run full validator nodes and synchronize the blockchain with lightning speed. What's good about this for you and me? Well, thanks to such speed, you can instantly make transfers and various operations in DeFi, as well as quickly receive information about your transactions, balance, and other processes in your wallet. You don't need to disclose your IP address to buy Yumi or conduct any other operation on the blockchain. It protects you against attackers who are trying to figure out and attack node holders of users of cryptocurrencies. The blockchain is protected by a two-tier system, which I'll talk about a bit later in the video. It prevents third parties from affecting the master nodes and, in case of a load increase, it allows you to distribute traffic among a large number of running servers. In addition, Yumi is protected from DDoS attacks. After all, no technical knowledge is required to set up a validator node. Therefore, using the blockchain is easy and pleasant. Look for the link to install the node in the description. Despite all the advantages, the Yumi team continues to aim for improvement, creating a unique system that will be even safer, more reliable, faster, and more convenient to use. What do you consider the biggest advantage of Yumi? Leave your answer in the comments. The backbone of the Yumi blockchain and the connecting link of all processes are the master nodes. Their task is to add new blocks to the blockchain and keep the network running. The master nodes are running on super powerful computers and servers, so information about the state of the blockchain is distributed at lightning speed. Since Yumi masternodes are distributed all over the world, there is no one single point of failure. It explains that the blockchain will work regardless of the state of one or even several masternodes. As I said earlier, one of the advantages of Yumi is the high level of security. It's provided due to the lack of access to the masternodes from the public network. This trait increases the stability and strength of the blockchain, eliminating the overload of nodes in the event of a DDoS attack. Additional assistance to the Yumi network are the validator nodes, which are located in different parts of the world. The essence of their work is that they connect to the blockchain, check the operation of the master nodes so that the rules of the network are respected, and transmit data from the mempool. Anyone can install a validator node. This creates an additional element of decentralization and keeps the blockchain stable. Thanks to this two-tier solution, it was possible to achieve high speed, security, reliability, and high performance of the blockchain. I'll tell you one secret. The internet is not a full-fledged decentralized network. So it follows that all other processes taking place on the internet cannot be 100% decentralized either. Let's go back to the origins to understand this argument. The prototype of the existing internet is the ARPANET computer network, created by the US Department of Defense in 1969. It's important to note that the ARPANET was a distributed network. That is, 
it could redistribute resources among its participants in case of partial destruction, which is one of the elements of the decentralization. However, the network was operated by IANA, a company founded by the US federal government. Although today there is no single central authority that could afford to turn off the internet around the world, this can be done at the government level. The government can leave the inhabitants of the country without the internet or disable access to certain sites, resources and social networks, as it recently happened in Kazakhstan. Surely you have heard about such cases in China and North Korea. Conclusion? Against the wishes of crypto users, creation of a 100% decentralized financial system based on the World Wide Web is impossible today. To make sure of this completely, we can also recall the recent failure of DYDX due to a problem in the operating of AWS. Let me remind you in more detail. Due to a problem that has arisen in the functioning of Amazon Web Services, many resources running on this cloud, including the services of the DYDX exchange, have gone out of order. Users have recorded various delays, failures in the functionality and operation of the site. That is, basing some of the elements of the exchange on a centralized web service interferes with the achievement of full decentralization. As you can see, the problem is obvious, but even in such conditions, the Yumi team strives to ensure the highest possible decentralization, reliability and independence. In order to provide users with a truly secure and, as far as possible, decentralized blockchain network, the Yumi team has explored many different tools that allow them to achieve this. After analyzing many options, the most optimal were Cloudflare Geo-Distributed Load Balancer. This tool allows you to optimally distribute traffic. That is, if a data center is broken, the user will automatically be connected to another. But this approach has a key drawback, dependence on Cloudflare and the DNS system. Tor Network. As of today, Tor is the most convenient and popular solution for creating a decentralized web. However, the speed of the Tor Network is quite low and is approximately 2% to 5% of the maximum speed of a node in the Yumi network. CJDNS Protocol. It is somewhat similar to the Tor Network and even allows you to work without an internet connection. However, it is much more difficult to use and will negatively affect the user experience. DHT Network. During testing, it had shown itself in a positive light, but later it was found out that anonymity is weak in DHT. And this can lead to the threat of certain types of attacks on the Yumi network. As you can see, none of the solutions I have listed is ideal each has its drawback. Therefore, Yumi continues to look for possible solutions and is not gonna stop there. Leave a thumbs up if you liked the episode. In the next video, I'm gonna talk about the programming language that's been chosen to write the code for the Yumi network, about scaling and about the validator node on your smartphone. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet. Goodbye and have a great day.